Hi everybody, uh, my name is Peter, for those who don't know me. Um, well, it's Peter for those who do know me as well, but uh, maybe you won't recognise me with my, uh, my beard. I don't usually have this beard. They're called my lockdown locks and I don't think they're going to survive after lockdown, but anyway, I've got them for the moment. Uh, okay, so I'm here to sort of talk to you a little bit about my involvement with um, Paddlers for Life. Um, my late wife Sue was one of the founder members. Uh, she was also one of the founder members of the first Dragon Boat team for breast cancer survivors in the UK. Uh, that was called Pool of Life, and that was down in Liverpool in two thousand and four. Um, since then, we've expanded and and uh, started the group up in uh, in Windermere. <coughs> Uh, which is a fantastic place, uh, much better than down on the docks in Liverpool. It's uh, we love it. The scenery is fabulous, and the uh, it, the the feeling it gives you uh, when you're out of the water, surrounded by the mountains, is fantastic. Um, but you'll find that out for yourself if you don't know already. Um, obviously, this is this little video is for new people as well as existing people, so. New people, I'm sure you're all excited to uh, to get on the water. You won't have any idea uh, at the moment what, what that's going to be like, but everybody who was at, at Windermere at the start were in the same, in the same position. Um, we didn't have a boat for you know a few months once we, once we got the idea going, um, but everybody was anticipating the boat coming and desperate to get on the water. Uh, now we all feel that way, even those who've paddled before, we're all desperate to get back on the water. Um, so what can I talk to you about? Well, my involvement really is um, is usually as the helm of a boat, which means uh, that I am the one or one of the ones who steer the boat, uh, sometimes called a sweep, <coughs> um, but in the other countries or other teams. But generally speaking, I'm, I stand on the back of the boat with a long oar that goes into the water and uh, steer it. Make sure that we uh, go out, get to where we want to go and come back safely. And safety is a big part of it. Safety is one of the uh, main responsibilities of the helm. The helm is like the captain of the ship, if you like, and um, is responsible for making sure that everybody's safe uh, during the session. Um, in reality, the helm will usually take charge of the session, so um, whatever you want to achieve training-wise, um, then the helm will usually uh, try to incorporate various exercises and other activities on the water that uh, help to achieve the things we want to. Um, <clears throat> so, new paddlers, what can I tell you? How can I prepare you a little bit for... Uh, for when you get onto the water or getting onto the water. Well, there's a couple of things that you would need to know, need to know and we will go through th some things with you safety-wise before you actually get onto the water. You'll have a, a safety brief. But for now, a couple of things you need to know is that uh, we at um, Paddlers for Life always insist that um, paddlers wear a buoyancy aid. <clears throat> uh, a buoyancy aid is another name for a life jacket, if you like, and... Uh, it's worn by everybody. <clears throat> what it means for us is that um, we can take people out who are non-swimmers or not very good swimmers and they can be confident that if anything happens and they end up in the water, they're not going to sink, they're safe, they can float. So what is it, this buoyancy aid? Well, I'll sh show you an example. So this is what you'll see. Most of the ones that um, we use it. Probably for life. These are the newest ones I think we have. <coughs> um, <coughs> I'm not going to put this one on because it doesn't fit me. But basically, your head comes through there, your arms come through the sides, and you get a pad at the front and back. Pad. <laughs> this is mine. It's quite old now, but uh, still does the job. So, basically, you put it over your head. There's a zip at the side. That um, fastens the two halves together. 
and then uh, hopefully we'll just tighten it up. It does need to be quite tight because you don't want it to slip off when you if you do end up in the water. But that's basically it. You have a pad at the front and back. Sorry, I just zoomed out a bit so you can see it a bit better. Um, and like I say, that will help you float if you do end up in the water. We all wear one. You've still got plenty of movement. It's uh, you can move your arms and things quite easily. Uh, the other thing you, you'll need, you've got a pocket in the front as well. And usually, what I what I always carry is a whistle and a space blanket. So if we get in the water, I, I can keep myself warm. If I need to attract attention, I can do that. In fact, I have two whistles. Just in case I drop one. But I've got them tied on as well, so I shouldn't drop them. Okay, <clears throat> so that's number one safety. We all wear buoyancy aids. We also all wear clothes that we, could, we would be happy to end up in the water in. Um, so no heavy jeans, no heavy, heavy um, garments that uh, will, will make you sink. Uh, if they get soaked with water, and no boots, they'd rather be wore trainers or flip flops or boat shoes or something like that. Okay, uh, the other thing you'll need is a paddle. This is a this is a standard paddle. This is a typhoon. The ones we use, uh, uh, the ones we got for you to use, are grey owl, I think. But they're a standard design, an international design. They're all the same size. You can get longer and shorter shafts on these things. And the way you measure this <coughs> will be to put the paddle on the floor, uh, the blade, and then measure it up against your shoulder. This is actually a little bit short for me. I would have it there usually but there is a maximum length and uh, shorter ones are easier to use if, you, if you're not really uh, used to paddling then a shorter paddle is, is better for you okay uh, so what do we do with this paddle we've got why is it a paddle it's not an oar so it is a paddle um, oars when you use an oar you sit down and you go backwards when you use a paddle you, you sit down or kneel down and you go forwards so that's the difference between paddling and rowing uh, and this is definitely a paddle so when you get into the dragon boat you sit two abreast side by side uh, you'll either sit on the left uh, or the right and um, for the and so the paddle will go in either hand depending which side you're on so I'm going to pretend I'm paddling on the left so I take the paddle in my left hand about a fist width up from the blade and then I'm just on top of the T grip and that's the that is the basic grip for paddling it doesn't usually change it doesn't matter if you're going forward backward anything that's how you grip the paddle so to, to make the boat go forward we all work together but this is the basic idea we put the paddle in the water in front of us at the side of the boat, pull it along as though you're pulling past a post and it gets to your hip, your knee, you lift it up and put it forward again. So it's, this is the action really. So it's a very short stroke, if you're on the other side, same, exactly the same, right hand, fist width up, and goes in, then back up and forward. Okay, so that is um, that's the basic stroke, and uh, that's how you hold the paddle. Um, Said so the helm will be the one who takes control of the boat, and um, the, the the most important thing with uh, dragon boat paddling is that we have to work as a team and we do everything together. So in order to make sure that that happens and we all work together, the helm will give commands that everybody understands and knows uh, and has practiced 
so that we can work together. So if we're going to start battling, the normal command would be, uh, well, the way the command works is that Helm will tell you what you're going to do. <coughs> we'll give a warning so that everybody can get ready. And then we'll give the command to start and everybody can start at the same time. So a typical example would be for me to say, uh, steady forward paddling, attention, go. So on, everybody's got the paddles in the hand. When the helm says steady forward paddling, attention, everybody gets into position where they're going to start to paddle, but the paddle hovers over the water. And then the helm will say go, and everybody goes at the same time. So... That's the normal procedure. The helm might say steady backwards paddling, attention, go. Um, the only time when you wouldn't get that uh, warning about what you're going to do and do it is uh, when the helm says stop the boat. Um, because uh, that is your brakes basically. And uh, it's usually an emergency stop and it'll usually be something like stop the boat! That's what you'll hear. You won't, hear, you won't see the terror in the eyes of the helm because you'll be looking forward and they're behind you. Uh, anyway, <laughs> there's never terror. We always, it's always controlled. Um, so that's a little bit about paddling, a little bit of equipment that you're gonna come across. I hope it's useful to you. Um, I can't wait to, to actually get out there and, and do it again. Um, and I hope you're, you're gonna look forward to it as well. Uh, maybe we'll do some other stuff that gives you a bit more information before we get there. Um, but for now, uh, I think I've taken up enough of your time. If I do another one, I'll try and do it a bit better. But uh, thanks for looking and uh, I hope to meet you all soon. Bye.